Last week, Mark Hunter, the legendary owner of Hunter's Nightclub in Palm Springs and here in Wilton Manors, anchored right here at this table at Queer News Tonight. We discussed his recognition from the Harvey Milk Foundation and Pride Center at Equality Park and the prestigious Alan Schubert Award. He was presented the award at a star-studded gala this Saturday at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel. In all of that joy, we had no idea of the news that would break today. Stage four, cancer. Mark broke the news himself, writing, quote, I have prostate cancer. The doctor says I have stage four malignant metastatic neoplasm of the prostate that has spread to the bones and possibly the kidneys. I am disclosing this news in hopes it will help someone. This diagnosis is not a death sentence. I am very optimistic that there is a 97% survival rate for the first five years and about the same at 10 years. Excuse me, sorry. Also, the prostate cancer grows slowly, end quote. Hunter then describes the medical and health steps that will be next, including drug therapy and the possibility of radiation and chemotherapy. Mark Hunter and Hunter's Nightclub has been instrumental in countless events and social experiences for both Palm Springs and South Florida. Hunter's has been a trusted source of helping nonprofit organizations with so many needs in our community, especially since pandemic. This is clearly breaking news, but from the entire Hot Spots magazine and Happening Out television network family, we are struck by the timing of this story from last week's news show and his speech at Diversity Honors when he said, quote, one of my greatest memories will be of the stories that people told me of how important Hunters has been to them as a safe space, end quote. He, has, he was talking about his bar. We are talking about our community hero, Mark Hunter. He finished his statement by saying, quote, my doctor said to live my life like I normally would. So here's to life, end quote. This, this was, <laughs> I'm going to give you a check, a second please, to catch yourself. Please do. So um, I was fortunate to have lunch with, with Mark last Thursday, and he had told me during lunch that he had stage four um, prostate cancer. And he, ex he explained to me that although it's stage four, you know, the first thing they're doing is hormone therapy to get his, his uh, basically his testosterone down to zero to help th fight this. Mm -hmm. And then, and that's a good sign because they're not going right to radiation. They're not going right to chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And we, I think we all at the table know people that have had prostate cancer and have survived. And he is a healthy human being mm -hmm. that is a, he's a dancer, he's athletic. He has a great attitude, which I believe, for my own issues, have, is half of the battle. Mm -hmm. So I have, and I believe he believes, that he has a lot of hope for the future. And he just invested in um, Java, Java Joe. Java, Java Joe. Coffee place. Right, he bought over Java okay. Boys, Java yeah. Joe, which right. part of what it's going to be is 5% of, every, of everything that they make is going to go back to organizations to help them in the nightclub business is what his intentions are. So he's not stopping what he's doing. He's not throwing that out the window. Mm -hmm. And he's known for a little bit of time. I don't know if it's been two weeks, three weeks or whatever, but he's still moving forward. And so as much as this is, is shocking news, I know he has the support of all of us in the community mm -hmm. because I believe that that he Hunter, Mark Hunter is not given up on anything mm -hmm. and he's moving forward. And he told me Patrick is business partner and long-term companion is 100% behind him and is there as a, as a rock to support him. So I, as much as this is shocking, I really do believe that it's not the end for Mark Hunter or Hunters or anything else. So that's yeah, right. just my positive take on this. No, that, that, that's great, Glenn. And, and, you know, definitely my, my sympathy out there. And um, I think they reported um, a good statistic. It's like over 90% of people survive this. And so there's definitely some hope out there for him. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know. There's no one that fights for our community more than this man. I love Mark Hunter. Yeah. Um, you know, personally, he has wrapped his arms around me and said, hey, I love you, whatever you need. If you ever feel like you're not seen because you're a lesbian at Hunter's that's full of gay boys, please come to me. You know, wh wh whatever table he sits at, he's like, listen, you're you're at that table with me. That is the kind of person that Mark Hunter is. Um, he didn't have to be that way, you know? He's a privileged white guy that has a place in Palm Springs too. He doesn't have to be that way, but he just is, you know? And I'm crying because I don't want him to go through this. You know, this just sucks. I'm a cancer survivor and I know this sucks, you know, but if anybody can win this, it will yes. be Mark. If there's anyone that could fight this to the teeth and nail, it will be him. Yeah. And in the process, he's going to help so many people yeah. by just sharing his Awareness. story. That was yes. a big thing. By just sharing his story. Yes. And Shafei, as a cancer survivor oh, yourself, you Jesus. know that the, there is a there is a rainbow at the end of, of a lot of these. Mm -hmm. And he is definitely one of those people at the end of the rainbow that's going to come out a winner. Yeah. I mean, I have to believe that. He's 
Uh, and I can't stop crying. Max, say something. <laughs> I, oh. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have not, have not lost anybody by cancer, but so many, so many folks have, and I, and I think that, um, you know, I'm, I'm, so I'm saying 97 percent is some good odds. Yeah. So I'm, 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 yeah. I'm hoping that, that, uh, that he'll be part of that, part of that 97. And we knew Mark in Chicago when he had hunters in Elk Grove Village uh, before he opened. The that was ours. his first one, yeah. Before he, so we know he's a good guy. He's so supportive of the community. Really. Just a great guy, and we're sending all the best wishes for him for the future. We love you, Mark Hunter Seymour. Thank yes, you. I used your full government <laughs> name, all right? And if you need anything, Hotspot's happening out. We are all here. Each and every one of the anchors is here for you, Absolutely. especially me. We love you, and you will get through this. You will. You will.